guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys how i created these really cute nails using all acrylic i didn't use any polish to create this look you guys can i tell you guys how obsessed i am with these nails they're extremely long Ugh, just obsessed so if you guys want to see how i did these then just keep on watching okay so the polish i'm going to be using is by glam and glitz and this one is in the shade cover light blush and i'm also going to be using the glam and glitz monomer as well so I'm going to be using this to put on my nail beds. This is honestly pretty much the same color as my nail beds. But I just gave, think it gave it a more like clean look. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to all of my nail beds. And I'm trying to keep my nail videos into real time instead of me rushing them. So you guys let me know down below how you guys like that as well. And the tips I have on in this video are from Sally's. Um, I don't remember the name of them so I'll just go ahead and link them below. But obsessed with those as well. Really good quality. The only thing I can say is you don't get a lot in a pack. I want to say maybe 100 come in a pack. Other than, you know, the Amazon ones, you get 500. So, yeah, but these nails are really good quality. I will link them below. And you guys, excuse my voice if I'm sounding a little nasally. Um, I am coming down off of a cold. This Christmas has just been uh, just sick all Christmas, you guys. But yeah, I wanted to get this video up for you guys. So just don't mind my voice. I'm sounding a little Joanna Manish, but it's okay. <laughs> And you guys, this brush I'm using is the same brush from my last video, the one from Model Ones that I got off Amazon. At first, you guys, I was ready to throw this brush away. I thought it was something wrong with the brush, but I noticed that I just had to shape it and, you know, give it that nice shape for it to work right. And so far, so good. I'm actually liking it. Um, I do want to pick up some of the Alpha brushes. I just haven't done it yet. But this one's great for beginners, and I will link this brush below for you guys as well. And for the glitter, I'm going to be using this glitter acrylic from Glam and Glitz in the shade Jaunty. And it's really pretty, guys. I'm like obsessed with this. Like as soon as I seen it on the website, I was like, okay, I have to have it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the tips of all of my nails. And it just speaks for itself. Just such a pretty glitter. Obsessed. And I'm just going to apologize ahead of time, you guys. I don't know what I was thinking when I was filming this part. I was out of frame most of the part when I was applying the glitter. Out of focus, just out of out of my mind, okay? I don't know what I was thinking. But on a brighter note, um, I did get some new equipment this Christmas. So I will be able to film and actually know I'm in frame and just better quality for you guys. So just stay tuned for that. And I did think about scrapping the whole video, but I was like, Alima, like, that makes no sense. You're in the learning stages, so do you know what? Just put it out there, and, you know, over time, you're going to get better. So, yeah, you guys, hope you all still just enjoyed the video, and I promise this is going to be my last video out of focus. <laughs>
And for this nail, I did go a little bit too high up with the glitter. So I'm just going to take my e-file and just shave some of that down. Just so that the, all the nails look even. And off camera, I did go in and um, just touch it up a little bit so it's not a harsh line for my e-file. And to encapsulate the nails, I'm going to be using the Glam and Glitz Clear Acrylic. I do find the Glam and Glitz Acrylic to be a lot easier to work with than my Mia Secret Acrylic. Of course, I'm still going to be using my Mia Secret since I already bought it, but Glam and Glitz right now is just winning for me. It's just so beginner friendly and I just, I love it. I do have a haul coming up with all of my new nail products, so just stay tuned for that because, you guys, I got some really dope stuff. So yeah, that should be up on my channel, I believe, after this video. And these are my nails after they've been filed, shaped, and buffed. Next, I'm going to go with my IBD top coat, and I'm going to top coat all of my nails. And I'm also going to top coat the bottom so they're going to be nice and clear and just perfect. I know you guys are probably thinking like Lima what is going on with your other hand <laughs> I'm going to be actually trying out another design on that hand so that's what I'm going to be doing now so that I can actually get up more nail videos so that's why the other hand is looking all naked because I'm actually going to be trying some sweater nails um if it comes out good or not you guys will see the video but yeah that's what I'm going to be doing on my right hand Okay guys, and this is the finished look. Absolutely obsessed with these nails. And these were actually really easy to do. They came out better than I expected. Just, uh, just so happy with these, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any other suggestions for my channel, please feel free to leave them down below because I have mad supplies now so I can do whatever you guys want me to do. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or anything, just let me know down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.